the best part is also the same as the worst part. And that is that I was in complete control. Um, I was the one that made the decisions about what work I wanted to do and what I wanted to pass off to you know somebody else, another friend that was a freelancer perhaps. Um, I got to decide what companies in what industries I wanted to work with. Um, so complete control. That also meant if somebody made a mistake, it was definitely me. Um, if someone didn't send out the billing on time, uh, I was definitely the one whose checking account had the hit. Um, so, so it was, it was both rewarding and challenging in equal ways. It was what I wanted. I got, I got to prioritize my life in a different way than a lot of people were getting to prioritize theirs. Um, I had been, um, in the, in the industry in Houston, in the, in the print industry. And I had made friends at print, uh, print shops, big print shops, little print shops, different companies. And so I didn't have the problem that a lot of freelancers face. And that is I, I had more work than I could do. Um, and I was able to share it with other people, but that meant I got to be really intentional. And sometimes my criteria on whether I would take on a new client or a new project is, does this sound better than laying in a hammock in my backyard with my kid staring at squirrels, uh, making nests in the trees, you know, like, and, and I got to be the one in charge of prioritizing that over a fat checking account. And I, and I did, um, until, you know, he had other interests that didn't include, you know, squirrels, nests and trees in the backyard. And then I got to decide, you know, now, how do I want to prioritize things?